What's up, YouTubers? So before we get started with this video, on first take, they're going to be talking about where did the Denver Broncos land in the AFC West, especially after they just lost. So let's see what they have to say about that. I got more faith just based on what I seen last night when you got Nathaniel Hackett doing some of the things that he was did in the game makes me scratch my head. And I know it was on the road, hostile environment, 12th men, all of those sort of things. I get it. I just don't have a whole lot of faith in what they're doing opposed to what the Raiders could potentially do yeah. for the third spot. Yeah. yeah, so for the AFC West, I'm going to have to go with the Chargers, Kansas City Chiefs, the Raiders, and the Denver Broncos. I have to have the Denver Broncos at the bottom. Uh, you know, the Chargers are on fire right now with Justin Herbert and all those boys going crazy. That defense, Khalil Mack, Bosa, uh, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, Kelsey, those boys are doing the thing. They're on fire still. Um, you know, the, the Raiders had a bad game. Derek Carr had a bad game. He's going to redeem himself, but we also need to look at who they played against. The Chargers are formidable op opponents. Um, and the Denver Broncos, I'm sorry, they're at the bottom heap of the AFC West. And, and that's a big deal. That's a, that, that's a big deal because, listen, here's the bottom line. You're right that Derek Carr did look awful, and even though we're not going to belabor that point, we're not going to belabor it. Damn it, it happened, okay? And the fact that it happened with Josh McDaniel as your new coach also resonates with me because this is a guy that's not only been a head coach before, but he's been, obviously, the offensive coordinator under Bill Belichick for all of these years, kind of knows a thing or two about what he was doing. I expected them to be on the same page a little bit more than they appeared to be this past week, but... Yeah, again, you know, the, the Raiders did have their problems. Uh, again, you have to look at who they went against. They didn't exactly play against a bunch of scrubs. Um, but I do expect bigger things from Derek Carr moving forward. Um, he's going to take care of business throughout the season. They just He just had a bad game against the Chargers. At the end of the day, do I have confidence that they can overcome some of their doldrums? Sure, I can. In the case of the Seattle Seahawks and the Denver Broncos, the Denver Broncos lost to Seattle. Let's call it what it is, Mina. I mean, outside of you, I don't know people who are expecting much from the Seattle Seahawks this season. I don't think anybody but you is expecting anything from them. <laughs> so it was really nice to see, and I'm not going to sleep on them. And the fact that, you know, listen, more, I'm rooting for Geno Smith. I ain't rooting against them. But rooting for somebody is one thing. Expecting them to do I, it I, is another. I, I, I expect for so I think I'm going to be on the same page with Stephen A. Smith there too with uh, Geno Smith. I, I wish him the best, but I don't, you know, I don't know how, what he's going to be able to do. Um, again, back to Russell Wilson. I do wish he would have been able to beat the Seattle Seahawks, but things just unfortunately didn't work out. I um, hope he's not too hard on himself. He's he, he has a whole new future with the Denver Broncos. He has a whole new contract for the next five, seven years or whatever. So just he just needs to sit back, relax, and rebuild, and the Denver Broncos will be back to what they used to be. Seattle, much like Pete Carroll, to win nine to ten games, man. Mm. Nine to ten games. I honestly, do. really, I honestly, do. is that by default because of the, what the NFC West looks like with Arizona, a little San bit, Francisco, a little and bit, the Rams, a little bit of both. I subscribe to the philosophy, much like Pete. We're gonna run the football. We're gonna play defense, and all I need my quarterback to do is not screw it up. You go back to the early. And Mina knows this because she's a Seahawks fan. You go back to the early stages. Of Russell Wilson, and I know this day and age, people think the game has changed. And they're not doing it that way. Yeah, but Russell Wilson had that nasty defense that was forming when he was uh, young, younger. That's not true. I don't care what the analytics say. You line up, you punch him in the mouth, you move forward, oh. you play defense, much like the Seahawks did at the goal line. You say, well, yeah, they should have been scoring. They were on a two-yard line. Not if the defense is stout. Not if, uh, not if uh, they punch the ball out. I don't care what anybody say. They did what they were supposed to do. That's really not what happened in this game, Sorry though. I mean, in the Why first not? Geno, Geno Smith had a lot of success with the quick game, moving the ball through the air. Yes, so they weren't really no leaning mistakes. on the run that heavily. Um, so I, I, I actually think this offense Rashad is going Penny to look a bit ran different. The hell out of the football. They looked great. I'm just saying, you're, you're talking about a ground and pound offense. That's really just not what it was. I, I think with Shane Waldron, who's their offensive coordinator, coming from the. Wow, Mina, you go ahead and let him know what's going on. Rams, you saw him finally getting to run the offense that he wants, that under center play action, uh, the ball going to the tight ends who they used a, pro, a, a great deal in the first half with great success and targeting the middle of the field on quick passes. None of that happened with Russell Wilson. It's just a very different offense. It's not going to be as explosive. But I think what we saw from Geno Smith is it can be efficient when he is not pressured. He can be accurate. I think he proved a lot of doubters wrong with his performance last night, particularly in the first half. But let me ask you this, though, Mina. What's different in early stages of Russell Wilson with this offense? They ran the ball efficiently. 
He didn't turn it over. He dinked and dunked. Yeah, he might have put it across the middle of the field a couple times. I just want to say Geno Smith doesn't have, didn't have the defense that Russell Wilson had when he was the, both the same age, when they were both the same age. But he didn't put him in harm's way. Early Russell Wilson never put the Seahawks in harm's way until he right. threw the interception in the Super Bowl. Well, That's how yeah. they got there. That's he how they got there. He also didn't dink and dunk. He's always been one of the most explosive deep passers in the NFL, That's dating cool. back to when he entered yeah. the league. It's just yeah, he, different. And, I'm, and, I'm not agreeing may, with and, you. And they may get on that page with DK because I wanted to see DK 